Hello and welcome back for another episode of the Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb podcast slash watch me die a lot uh, experience <laughs> where me and Anza will talk about stuff and play Binding of Isaac kind of poorly. So I am going to pick today, I'm going to do a regular Isaac run again. And I think you had some kind of a RPG question or something about uh, something to do with that for me. So uh, go ahead. What was up? Oh, you mean Isaac or me? Uh, no, yeah. Isaac. Isaac. I want to hear from Isaac for once. You're okay. constantly talking. Just let him talk. Uh, he actually has very little to say aside from crying. So uh, no, I'm gonna let you talk. Actually. <laughs> uh, um, uh, yeah. I know. I was just wondering if you were into RPGs a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely am to a lesser degree lately because I've just been, you know, full of other stuff to do. But whenever uh, I get the chance, I always like the odd RPG. Anything yeah, can... in particular? I mean, I've sort of driven more toward uh, hack and slash games, but I used to really get into the, the long term, uh, yeah. really serious, like invest in all the characters RPGs. Well, what kind of, R of R RPGs are you into? Uh, you name it. Well, really, the better question is what kind of ones well, aren't I into? And I would say probably not shit like Romance of the Three Kingdoms uh, and like tactics games. Those sort of bug me a little bit. But just about yeah. everything else. Let's say about the uh, you know the, the Final Fantasy style. Yeah, I mean I've Have played the majority the of the ones? Final Fantasy games at least to a small degree. Uh, okay. My favorite of the series though is definitely controversial, and I know very few people seem to agree with me. But uh, I actually like Final Fantasy XII the most. Well, oh yes, twelve. Uh, no, twelve. Twelve was good. I enjoyed it. It was really fun. It was a bit more mature, I think. I think a lot of the time when I talk to people about that game, they are just still s sort of hung up on this whatever the hell got them about ten. And I don't get what got them about ten because I found ten to be really bad. Ten is horrible. It's but it's definitely the worst. Well, except the online ones, but... Oh my god, you know what, what the about. hell did I... I just had an eternal heart, and I just got hit by a spider. Yeah, you, you just That's did that. really a shame. I actually liked uh, 11 better than I liked 10. I actually played well, uh, the MMO one for a few months. I'm saying that because I've, I've, never, I've never played the, on the online ones, but I've seen the mess that was, uh, you know, 14. Yeah. And, oh, uh, oh my god, 14, they're remaking the whole thing. Really? They, they, I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it said something about a new realm. Uh, so I think they're like scrapping it or something. Uh, because uh, you know, I, I, I am a big fan of um, Walfuni, um, and uh, he actually, you know, played this. He, uh, re he reviewed the game, and man, it, it's a mess. Yeah. It's so much of a mess. I do not understand how much of a mess you you can do with a Final yeah. Fantasy game. Especially since they already had an online Final Fantasy game that was reasonably successful. It actually had about four or five expansion packs. So oh, wow. They, they had all of the framework in place. Maybe four or five is a bit much. Maybe it was more like three. But there were definitely a handful of expansion packs, and I did play it. Okay. Um, so. Well, I know you you are a gigantic fan of, Dar of Dark Souls, which would be some sort of RPG. It is definitely an RPG, but it's like an action strategy yeah. RPG. It's a hack and slash with RPG elements, pretty yeah. much. It's the way I see it. Monster, uh, Monster Hunter is e exactly like this too. It's, it's an it's an action game, but with strong yeah. RPG elements. No, I know elements. We, we don't need to talk about Monster Hunter anymore. No, I think we've been over that enough times. I didn't. I will never get over. I know. Monster Hunter. Well, I'm over it. Because I I mean, at, at, at night. When I okay, get at night to sleep, is is enough. I don't need to know what you do at night with Monster Hunter. I think about Monster Hunter really hard. Really, really. Tell me, <laughs> tell me about <laughs> Kingdom Hearts and how weird it is that Minnie's head it looks like an inflated balloon. What, what do you think about that? Have you played Kingdom Hearts? Yes, I've played both. By well, the, the both main games. Yes. All right. So you're familiar then with Minnie Mouse in the setting of Kingdom Hearts. Yes. Yes. Are you aware that her head looks like a giant inflated balloon? Yes, but we only see her at the beginning, right? Yes. She's like gone after that, so well, it's I don't know. Maybe she comes back at the end. I don't know if I ever beat that game. I might have. Well, maybe like the chick of Dingo was really, really lonely and uh, she needed okay. something. <laughs> no, okay, but really. It's all really weird. Yeah, but that doesn't really bother me. You know, stuff like these. Kingdom Hearts is a really strange game. I really don't get it. Uh, I love uh, Kingdom Hearts a lot. The whole series. I like it. Oh, look at my Isaac. 
I got happy anime eyes. <laughs> Hello! Oh, you're so cute! I could hug you all and day. And there's then a needle in the you. back of his head. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh. <laughs> it's like the Joker did it. Oh, yeah. Okay, enough. I know you're angry with Batman that's, and all. That's enough, Batman. Yeah, I, I'm angry too. It's alright. Just want to kill the Batman. I'm angry at both DC and Marvel. All, both of them. I'm just... Okay. You know what I what I installed recently? Uh, I hope it's an obscure PS2 RPG because I was enjoying that conversation. No. No. Oh. DC Universe. Oh God. Yes. Remember when we had to play City of Heroes for like a day? I did you do that too? No, I've actually never played. That City was Heroes. so shitty. Don't even bother, man. But, even if okay. it's free, it's a waste of your download wait, time. Wait, wait, I'll be honest, I did not fully experience DC Universe Online, I I'm only level 7, but I do sort of enter the game so far. Okay. Well, whatever, so you far. can like what you like, but I'm just telling uh, you, wait. City of Heroes sucks ass. Well, I've never played this, this one, so whatever. Are yeah. the games that similar, or I don't is know. There... I'm just telling oh. you that that is one game that I think is bad. I don't know what that has to do with DC Universe. Well, I wouldn't say that because... <laughs> Once again, I'm sorry for that, but well, well, funny, he did a Gizmo Duck in oh. City of Heroes. And like, Gizmo Once Duck again, is Batman's crazy. my best friend. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, <laughs> um, did, did you play the Chrono Trigger and stuff like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, like, of course. Well, I grew up in that time, so of course, I mean, yeah. uh, Earthbound, well, okay. Chrono Trigger, Secret of Mana is probably my favorite, one of my favorite games ever. Uh, yeah. Probably in my top five. Yeah, it's true. I, I actually knew that. How did God, How could I forget? You're not secret of, of mana. Do, do you know uh, Terra Enigma? Um, Terra Enigma, that was only released in Europe, so I actually never got to play it when I was a little kid, but I did uh, want to look into that as far as playing it now. Okay, so I we should do this together pretty soon, because it's one of the, of the game that you, 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 could, you could grill to love, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um... Let, 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 let me think for a moment. Do you know any uh, Tales game? Well, That's yeah, a... we've, I feel like we've been over this in a previous episode or something, or at least we've talked about it personally. But uh, the Tales of whatever the hell that came out on 360, I have that. Uh, I can't see it from here what the hell the title says. Tales of something. Um, yeah, it's Tales of... It had like a blue cover and a bunch of anime characters on it. I actually yeah, thought but... that was really fun, but I just didn't okay. stick with it. I'm talking about the real one, the first one, you know, the the, the, the best one, pretty much. Do you? No, I, I haven't no. played most of them. Yeah, okay. Because I know you 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 watched a, a little bus yeah. video I, I did. And I also have Tales one. of the Abyss for PS2, and I didn't play that. Yeah. At all. No, this one is not that great. It's it's good, but it has nothing to do with with the uh, old ones. And somehow, against all odds, I managed to stay away from Tales of Symphonia on the GameCube. Really? Yeah, I Man, had, it's... it was recommended to me about 7,000 times since I worked at GameStop, and we had we were handling them like every other day, and, and I just never got you know, around to buying it. You know what's great with this game? It's multiplayer! You can play it with friends, it's great! So is Secret of Mana. Little known fact, I think a lot of people don't actually know that. Really? You can play- oh. Yeah, but- It's one of the few games that supported a third controller. Wow. There was actually a peripheral that nobody has that allows you to connect to third <laughs> control. No, I'm serious, there really is. No, uh, I actually know what, what you're talking about. If but you I, had a peripheral, I, just... I think it was a multi-tap, and then there was like an official kind that was just for a third. Yeah, no, I love that at the thing that, you know, it's that nobody has it. I know, yeah. nobody has this fucking thing. They also don't have the uh, mouse for Mario Paint, and I have that. I have it! Awesome. Oh, dead I cat, have... no. dead cat. We oh, almost got the dead cat. Stayed away, but don't worry. I do have uh, the mouse. I, I I have the mouse pad for... Yeah, value. I got that. <laughs> this is a really bad mouse. I don't know how you're supposed to use it for I know. anything. Uh, so the stiff. pictures I made on that. Oh, yeah, I, I made those ones too. And since you had like uh, six frames of animation... Yep. Yeah, it's a... Yeah. Uh, giant penis, it's pretty all much. All anyway. needed. <laughs> uh, okay, well... I love the music creator in Mario Paint. That was one of my favorites. Yes, definitely Spent one of the best. Hours with that thing. Oh yeah. I was busy uh, re recreating songs from uh, from uh, other games. Mm -hmm. Super Metroid included. You're gonna say Super Meat Boy. It's like so you um, time traveled in the DeLorean. 
<laughs> yes, yes, got yes. a copy of Super Meat Boy, brought it back in time, and then made the theme. Beatus Blues. Well, pretty much what happened is that um, I died pretty much like right now. Oh, like right, pretty much right now. And it just respawned in in the past, and I, you know, bunk, bunk, like the bunk games, but without the bunk. What? Yeah, no, the thunk thing is uh, for me playing too much Quake. <laughs> Whenever we would uh, play Quake all the time, we would always make this joke that like, oh, Space Marines get like launched out of a grenade launcher when they respawn into the world, so they make a thunk sound. Because if you've played actual Quake online, like that's the sound it actually makes. They just go thunk. <laughs> it's really <laughs> weird. Nice. But okay, what um. Uh... Do you do you want to talk about old classics? Because we you know we talked about it. movies, we talked about new games. Did, you, uh, I guess it... Demon's Crest is one of my favorites from back in the day. You you did a, your own let's play of that, I think. Yes, that was a good time. I watched that. Super uh, Ghost and, and Ghouls, yeah, I guess. No, fuck that game. I was not good at games that good, or well, that good anyway. At, when I was little, so no, I didn't get into that one. Um, okay. Well, it's it's also difficult as fuck. So I played uh, Uniracers a lot. That was a really good time for me. Uh, on the ball, pushover. I'm thinking of my SNES library right now. Um, yeah. What else? I mean, obviously everyone played Mario Kart. That was like required. <laughs> uh, Clay Fighter. Oh, I did not know the, this one. Clay Fighter. Clay Fighter. Yeah, yeah you, you play as a dude made out of clay, and you beat up other dudes made out of clay. There were characters oh, uh, like a dude made out of taffy, a giant angry snowman, a Elvis, a uh, uh, opera singer. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of weird guys. I always played uh, as the blob. He was just a green blob made of clay. <laughs> it was not a very good fighting game, but you know it was what we had at the time, except for Killer Instinct, which was by far the best fighting game on the SNES, as far as oh, I'm yes. aware. Um, there was also this other one, Weapon Lord, which was pretty cool. Uh, but Killer Instinct just beat them all hands down, no question. Oh yes. Well, no, it's not true. It is the Power Ranger fighting no, game. Oh fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, How about uh, wait? Let me see. Oh, uh, Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. I did, I actually I did had play that actually, and I didn't think it was a terrible game. No, wait. What are you talking about? It's actually pretty good. It was like it's... basically like Super Mario 3, but with Mickey Mouse instead of Mario. Well, yeah. That's the one with all the different suits, right? You're, or different hats? Yeah. yeah. Also, um, it's it's one of the of the of the game with one of the best uh, SNES soundtrack ever, ever made. The songs on this are amazing. I'll grant you that it's good. I don't know about the best ever made or one of maybe it. Well, is. you know, the best of its kind. I, I, sure. You know, it's sort of a, a like. Not, not not classical, but yeah. was, orchestrated was, songs. Was that the yeah, one with the Jello level? No. Do you remember? No, that must have been a different oh. Mickey Mouse game. It's it's the one with with the fire level. Mm. Yeah, you play as a firefighter. Okay, I'm I'm thinking of yeah. probably the Sega Genesis version or something else. There was yeah, definitely you're, you're, a Jello level in something that I played though. You're talking about the one that nobody knows. I guess. <laughs> so it's I not all that. that. I have no idea what, what what you're talking about, so whatever. Um, oh man, Sim City for SNES. Oh yes. The hours I spent with that dude with the green hair telling me what to do. Oh yes. Such good times with that one. That and Spawning Bowser. Oh boy. <laughs> I you know I never got bored of playing Sim City. I don't know why, but as soon as they made Sim City 2000, I was fatigued of it. Yeah. I loved the first one. The second one, I played it for a while and then bored. The third one, I don't even care about. <laughs> uh, I did play this game a lot. I, um, you know, my uh, my 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 coach, my busting coach, his family name is is right. So of course, uh, I had to make fun of him for this. Yeah. I mean, hi, where's your green hair? And he actually got the got the joke. He he actually uh, understood. That's wild. And he punched that. me in the face after that, but oh, okay. anyway. It was worth it, I'm sure. Yes. Um, Yashi Ireland. Yeah, good time. Uh, sick of the crying baby sound, but good time. Beautiful graphics. Oh. That's because you're getting hurt. Ah, ah, ah. 
Ah, yeah, ah. well, you know, no, I make mistakes no, no. sometimes, because I'm human. Arr. This game is definitely more difficult than the um, Super Mario World mm -hmm. games. Like, all of them. But I found it, it a lot more fun, actually, too. Well, yeah. Which is saying I mean, something, because Mario World is really good. I'm sorry, but Watermelon Machine Gun? Oh boy, that's amazing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I do. I actually just really loved the art style, and that was one of the first Dude, games yes. from back in that time that had such an original, beautiful art style. Yeah. And there's a lot of, of like, places to go, like, caves and volcanoes, uh... Well, I don't, I don't remember like this, but I know that, that, that there are a lot of uh, environmental places. Yeah, and I'm remembering all the cool bosses, too. There was, like, that crow with the moon. Uh, yes! And something with lava at some point. And the giant spike ball, dude. That's pretty... Well, it's not a super difficult fight, but it's it's tricky the yeah. first time, because the, the, the floor goes away, and usually in SNES games... Yeah. Floors don't go away, floors stay there, so you're like, oh my god, what's happening? And then you panic, and you die. And, uh, what's another one? The Me uh, Mega Man X, obviously, oh, everyone course. loves that. Uh, I have Mega Man X, I've, I've beat this game, like, hundreds of times. Here's one I'll bet you probably didn't play, Kirby's Dream Course. Nope. Loved Kirby's Dream Course. I always loved miniature golf for some reason, it was just a thing. It's me. a golf game? Yeah, it's a golf game uh, with Kirby and powers and like crazy isometric courses. Oh wow, that, that, that sounds good. It's really fun. Even to this day, I still like that one. Uh, and I, that's granted, like I get that Kirby's like a little fruity at this point, but like it's still fun. That doesn't yeah. bother well, me. You know, I I obviously know the Kirby Superstar, which is yeah definitely one of the best Kirby games. Well, Kirby on the NES, I think, is pretty much the pinnacle of traditional yes. Kirby. I don't think they're gonna beat that ever. It's also the best ending boss, let's be honest. This Nightmare guy? Oh man, was he awesome! He was a badass. Say it. Uh, yeah, say it. Sure, he was a badass. I like you playing know, as a UFO. Talking, oh. I'm not remembering it, honestly, because it's been like oh, okay. 20 years since I put. No. <laughs> Maybe so no, pretty actually, much. Like 17, 18 years. Well, pretty much the goal of, of, of the game is to reassemble this Star Rod. Yeah. And at the end, like, you, you defeat King DDD, DDD. and you, yep. you take the Star Rod and you put it on, like, the fountain, and you realize that there is a nightmare in, um, on, uh, yeah, in the fountain, and DDD actually sealed him inside. So you just undid the seal, and this nightmare is like, he's like this huge dude oh. in a cape, and he's, like, teleporting around, and he's. He's he's pretty badass. Remember he's when badass. that all happened in Skyward Sword? Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, what, wait, what happened in this game? You're you're in the sky and you beat the game. Yeah, no, but when you you go down to the ground and then there's like this giant oil monster living under the ground for some reason. And that's they give you a bunch of really a... loose reasons to walk around in a circle while the thing chases you, and make it pretend like it's going to be suspenseful, but it's really not. Actually, this boss battle made me think of, like, Monster Hunter. It made me think that Nintendo, ni ni Nintendo like, realized the, the potential of Monster Hunter, and, and it's like, we need this in Zelda, right. because it, 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 it makes sense. And then reality it, came it, crashing down on you, and you realized none of that is true. Yeah. But it's a Zelda game, and everybody loves Zelda, and because of this... Right, Zelda... you can play as Zelda, right? No, I mean Link. That was a joke. Wow. It... Wow. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm making fun of the fact that everyone that doesn't quite know what the hell they're doing... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but... Okay. Come on, everybody watching us know who Link is, and, and that, who's that Zelda. lady or man in the mechanical suit is called Metroid. Yes, oh yes, yes. And, uh, I know, another one like this. And then, uh, of course, you pick one that, like, the character is actually that, like, Kid Icarus. <laughs> Double Dragon? Oh yeah, you, both the dragons. dragons. Yeah, you are dragons, and that's what you are. You, Two of them. You're just, yeah. I think you're they just made a movie about Double Dragon, didn't they? Yes. That's awesome. I need to watch that. You never watched no, it? No, I watched it, but I was like eight. <laughs> I don't remember okay, well, what the hell it was about. Yeah, watch it again. It's hilarious. It's bad, but it's hilarious. I don't care if it's bad. I, that's the point. Yeah. Of it's, course it's bad. It's unlike the Super Mario movie, where Which it's only... Amazing. like amazing. It's boring. It's amazingly boring, but it's really good. Well, yeah, but 
That's where my band trust the fungus got its name, by the way. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know that. I, I did not know that. It's a tongue-in-cheek uh. poke at, at Super Mario movie, which I actually own on DVD, which few people, I think, can say that. Uh, damn it. Trust damn the it. fungus, Luigi. Trust the fungus. And he jumps down the tunnel uh. and the fucking mucus, like, catches him, and he's like, Oh, I'm not gonna die, Mario. We're Italian. We're awesome. <laughs> and then they high five, and then you know that's the end. Uh, I don't want to know. I don't want. And Yoshi looked like a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's good. Yoshi looked so retarded. He was just like. <laughs> Actually, what like I meant to say was Toad looked like a watermelon uh, because that didn't make any sense that Toad was like a dinosaur person. Well, Yoshi too looks like yeah. a watermelon, just only like a biohazard watermelon. <laughs> With, with a thong. Man, of course. whoever wrote that screenplay, I don't know. Like, they really were on drugs or something. I guess but he had least... to be to parse some kind of, like, interesting story out of that whole thing. I mean, Mario itself is pretty damn trippy. I mean, how do you make a movie about Mario? Is that... I would think nowadays it would be really pretty easy to make a movie about Mario, but back then, when everything had to be serious all the time, it must have yeah, been I mean... really hard. When the movie got out, was like Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars out? I don't think it was yet, actually. Well, there you go. So the universe of of there was no u universe of Mario. And that's uh, another game exist. that I liked, actually. That exact yes. one. Yes, uh, it's probably my um, second favorite RPG. The first one being Tales of Fantasy. Of oh, course. and I gotta mention Rock and Roll Racing. Love, love, love that game. Oh, yes, yes, classics. Pretty good, too. Uh, and it's a Blizzard game as well, if... Uh, yes, it is! That surprised me that. when I learned that. And it's got cameos by uh, a bunch of Blizzard characters, and, well, not a bunch, but it's got the, uh, the Olaf from the Lost Vikings in it. And, um, it, they make a bunch of, like, little tongue-in-cheek jokes about, like, the alien, and there's a few other guys. Yeah. Um... Warlock. Uh, didn't do that Based one. Based on the movie. I think you told you me to play Warlock? that, but I think I missed that one. I think I missed the movie and the game on that. Yeah, well, the movie's good. The game is... It's hard as fuck for all the bad reasons, but the game itself is alright. You know, it's like... Well... I would not suggest it. Yeah. That's. But I did enjoy it because I'm hardcore and... Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Tetris Attack. Did you do that one? Oh, yes. I pretty, love that. Pretty good. One of my favorite I was, puzzle games. I was always alone playing it, so I just got <laughs> bored of it. Sadly. I mean, I cannot imagine Dave playing Tetris Attack. No offense. He would love Dave. it. He would die a lot. He would love it, though. Um, Super Scope 6. I had one of those things. Did you even know? Do you oh, know about that? Oh, yes. Uh, games like Yoshi Safari and uh, not Metal Slug, but uh, what's the name? It's... um. Oh. Uh, and it's not coming Super to Scope me, but 6. I know all I had for my Super Scope 6 was the cartridge Super Scope 6, which were the six pack-in games that came with the uh, gun. All of them? It's the full... No, it, no, it was one cartridge with six, like, mini-games on it to get you Oh, okay, into yeah, it. it's, it's, it's mini-games. Uh, but some of them were kind of fun. They, like, you could shoot missiles in one of them, there was one that was like, whack em all I'm about to die, this is not looking good. Oh really? I'm oh wow. Well, what were you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm looking for games. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, let me see. I want to see. Super scope. Um. Yeah, it was pretty weird. Like, there I don't you even go. Know why it's, I had that. it's Metal Combat. That's a oh. pretty nice game. I I want to show some someday. Yeah, I actually liked that one a lot, but it was one I never had the cartridge of. I think I always rented it. Yes, same here. But it's it's a nice game. I mean, it's pretty much boss fights all the way. And for the viewers, oh, it's God. a it's, it's over. It's not it's not a side scroller. It's not a 3D game. It's a game where a fight happens and you can uh, block bullets and hurts like robots um, in their parts. That's the one where you got uh, multiple suits, right? And you could switch around. Nope, it's not this oh, one. Oh, damn it. I think I'm thinking of a different game that I always got confused with the one that I'm thinking of. 
it's it's the game where uh, you 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 fight, uh, you know, robot suits uh, a la Gundam Force. Yeah, and okay, they're much... similar, but I'm thinking of one where you were a little guy that could get in multiple suits, and there was like a, oh, a spear shaped um... one and like a spider shaped one. Uh, I know what you're talking about. And one with a plasma sword. Yeah. This game is great too, but I don't remember the it title had, at like, all. It had like almost the same title. It was like Metal Combat, or what was the title you just said? Well, Metal Combat. Metal Combat, okay. It was um, Metal Something. It's not Metal Storm because Me no, Metal Storm is on the SNES. No, I mean on, on the NES. So it's a Metal Battle, Metal, metal Fighters, combat, Metal Combat, Metal Fighters. No, you found Me it. Metal Combat's Metal Combat is 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 the one I'm talking about. Yours oh my must god, be... I did it like four times. I'm like drunk or something. <laughs> metal Warriors. Metal Warriors. It That's it. That's the one. I'll check. I'm gonna say but it's yes, Metal I... Combat again. <laughs> I did, uh... <laughs> yep, it's this one. It's this one. It's where you can s change, like, oh robot suits That game stuff. was so fun. I would play that uh, oh, two-player yes. all day. It was amazing. You could actually steal suits yeah. from other people. It had such a oh, good deathmatch. I want to play that, like, now. <laughs> that game's so good. Uh... There is... Oh, of course, Gauntlet Legion. Come on. Gauntlet? Come on. No. Gauntlet Legion. I don't no, think I never? that one. Ah, oh, this one's great. Well, I bet you never played Uniracers. I, I, or did, I did you? You did. Did you I play? Did you play on I the did. ball? On the what? On the ball. No. It's a marble maze game. It was really brutally hard. It was so fun though. Marble ball. I have no idea. On no. on the ball. On the ball. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. No, I, I didn't know if you heard me or not. Oh man, I'm thinking about all these things now. What the hell else was there? Act Razor, of course, one of my favorites. Yes, 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 of course. There is um, Aladdin, the game yeah, no, that I, I love. Aladdin's cool. I never owned that one. Uh, it was okay. There is um, kind of hard actually. Oh, there's Faction to do, of course. You don't really know this game a lot. Yeah, we were gonna play that, but and then I... we just never did. <laughs> yeah, we just never did because I, I think one of, of of your fans said that you know we should not play this game because yeah. nobody knows it. And I think I agreed with them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I only wanted to show the game. I full let's play is all the is out of the question, but right. you know the, the first two, uh, thirty minutes maybe. Oh, uh, Hyperzone! Holy shit! Hyperzone! Hyper I. Do not know what it's this a, game uh, is. It's like a combat car game, except it's all futuristic, and it's like a track where you're just basically getting barraged by shit coming at you. Um, I'm trying to think of what to compare it to. Um, oh, what the hell's the name of the dude? Uh, Space Harrier. It's like Space Harrier, except you play okay. as a ship instead of a dude with a gun. And the ship gets upgrades as you go, and you can uh, you know, charge your, your weapon, and if you get enough points or whatever, you get a better ship. And throughout the whole thing, there's like eight or so levels, and by the end, if you get the best ship, you can charge in like one second. So you're just releasing these massive fires, and that's like the only way you'll beat the final boss. Which wow. is like a crazy fetus. You actually fight an SNES controller in that game, it's amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's see, um, Rocket Knight Adventures, I love a lot. Uh, Sparkster? Yeah, no, it's I'm talking about the the, the first one, the, the best one. Oh, okay. It's Dragon Knight Adventures. Barkster is the sequel on the SNES. Yeah, I Oh, Rocket Knight Adventures first... is on the SNES, isn't it? No, it's on the Genesis. Oh, right. One of those, the, like the three yeah. crossover games that made the move from one platform to the other. Yep. Uh there is of course uh Ninja Gaiden. Come on, Ninja Gaiden. That's great. Yeah, well, guy. Well, I, I played the NES games. I didn't really play it on SNES. Was there even an SNES game? No, it's oh. all NES. There is Castlevania, which I adore. Yeah, you know, we could go off on the Castlevania rants for an hour. We're not going to do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Ogre Battle. Do you know Ogre Battle? I know it. I didn't like it, though. Oh, okay. Too complicated for me. <laughs> uh, Donkey Kong? I mean, of course, everybody yeah, knows. Yeah, everybody fucking... knows it. I didn't particularly find it amazing. I think everybody was raving about the graphics so hard that I don't think anyone, like, stopped to actually have fun with it. Well, I love the, the second one. I I think that's as much as, as I you can know, say. Actually, I'll take that back. I think the game was decent enough. It just... I really don't like monkeys. 
<laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, I that's partially why I couldn't watch those Planet of the Apes movies, and I just don't like yeah. monkeys. So Donkey Kong to me has always been like something I really avoid. Uh, but I did like uh, Diddy Kong Racing for some reason. I thought that lost, was super fun. You 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 just lost twenty percent of the, of your I'm subs sorry. right 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 now. Right now, I don't blame them if they're fans of Donkey Kong. I just don't find it interesting. I mean, I, I was borderline not into Banjo Kazooie because I'm not a huge fan of bears either. But, How about um, um, um? I'm sure you love. Then uh, let me see. Um, come up with a game with a bear in it. Maybe. Uh, damn it! I'm trying to find something. How about girls with with guns in darkness? How about this? What? Do you love this? I don't even a know girl, what talking about. A girl with a gun in darkness. Are we talking about a game or are we talking about an experience that we have in real life? A game. A game. A I've game. never heard well, of it. Well, both. Both, if, if you feel like it. I'd rather they wouldn't have a gun if they're going to be in the darkness, honestly, because well, I'm, that's a little I'm talking dangerous. About, I'm talking about Perfect Dark. Come on. You never played Perfect how, Dark? How the hell am I supposed to get that out of what well, you just said? I know Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark I bought was it popular twice. because there's a... really. I ha well, I have an N64 copy. I bought it on Xbox Live Arcade, and I even oh. bought the expansion pack so I could play it with you know the actual levels in the game. <laughs> Most of the game and... was locked if you didn't have the extra like four meg RAM pack in your N64. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do know that this game is popular because there is a chick in the game, right? I mean, I that's... thought it was because it was the pseudo sequel to Goldeneye, actually. And because well, it had too. bots in the deathmatch mode, and because it had like way better oh, weapons okay. and shit. The the weapons, yeah. This game has some amazing guns. Fucking laptop gun, man. Oh man, this guy's amazing. It's a laptop, or it's a gun, or it's a sentry turret. Who knows? It's all of them. It's all the three for the for for, for the price, for the price of, of fifty cents. A million dollars because it's fucking spy gear. Oh. Well, yeah, but and then whatever. you get an X-ray gun. You shoot them through the walls, and everyone gets mad. And then they throw soda at your wall, and then they leave your house, and they don't sleep over ever again. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> we are fucking nerds, and we could go at this forever. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end with a game we both love. It's the, it's the legacy of Kane. Yeah, we Kane's love awesome. The it's pro it's well, probably well it is in my top ten. To be clear, Easily. Raziel's really the focus of my interest. Kane is kind of could take it or leave it. Well, well, I love both. So but Kane, like, Raziel's a spin-off of Kane, so you know, gotta give him props for that. Yeah. And that's it. I could go on forever. Let's stop this. Yeah, well, because... we'll, we'll go on forever in another episode when we're actually playing the game. Uh, whatever. I, I don't think anyone cares if they're uh, still listening. Then great. If they've shut us off, great. Whatever. If they shut us off, they're not hearing me saying that. So. <laughs> Good Fuck news. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be happy to uh, nostalgically reminisce on any old games that we played in our childhoods. I've got the entire N64, SNES, NES, Genesis, Super Nintendo, I think I said that already, um, uh, uh, Master yeah. System, Virtual Boy, uh, all of those libraries in my head. I, I was never a Turbo Graphics guy, unfortunately, but I always wanted to be. I just didn't have the money at the time. Um, I even own a CDI, believe it or not. What? Nobody else you know probably owns a CDI. I own one. Wow. I'll leave you guys with that. Ruminate on that, bro. Alright, see you next time. Have a great night. And we will be back again with another one. Later. <laughs>